All right, welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Led Ross, and I'm here to teach you all the things about money that you wish you learned in school. And this today's to today's class, today's lesson, is on how to invest. You know, the question is how to invest, right? People ask me, how do I invest? How do I invest? Let me explain something to you first that's going to help you understand what that means. When someone usually says to me, Lloyd, I want to learn how to invest, what they really mean to say is, I want to learn how to invest in shares. That's really what they're saying to me. When, now, it's my, from my experience, that's what they mean. But here's something you have to understand. When you say, I want to know how to invest, investing can be so many things. Like, investing is a, is a wide range of things. Like, I want to know how to invest my time. I want to know how to invest in real estate. I want to know how to invest in my relationship. I want to know how to invest in shares. I want to know how to invest in art. I want to know how to invest in watches. I want to know how to invest in whatever, right? I want to know how to invest in myself. So you have to ask yourself, when you say, I want to, how do I invest? What exactly are you wanting to invest in? Because every bit of time you use in, your, in the day, here on earth, of your life, is an investment of your time and probably your money, okay? Because time is money, right? So my, my question to you is, how are you investing every minute of the day today? What are you investing it in? Are you investing it sitting at the pub, in, in, at a bar, drinking alcohol? Are you investing it in, um, in, in sport and becoming an athlete? Are you investing your time and effort into that, right? Look at Usain Bolt, invested years and years and years of his time and effort and mind into sprinting. And now he's worth $200 million, right? He's a very well-paid athlete. But that's where he spent invested. So if, if you said to him, if he said, Lloyd, how do I invest? I'm like, well, you're a really good sprinter. That's how you invest. You invest it there. Like, does that make sense? So I think it's 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 good to understand what you mean when you say, how do I invest? I'm assuming when you ask that question, you're meaning, how do I invest in shares? Okay. Well, how do I invest in real estate? Um, and I'll cover this one too. How do I invest in myself? Maybe that's a different a different lesson because it's quite it's quite a lot to it. But really what people say when they say, how do I invest is, how do I invest my money? And I, I suppose what they want to create is, how do I invest my money? And I ask them this too, like, what purpose? What's the objective? What are you wanting to achieve when you say, I want? how do I invest? And if you, if you scale it back, if you peel back the onion, what they're really saying is, how do I invest my money into something that's going to give me cash flow that can free me from my job? And that is really a great objective. That if that's your, if that's your, your mission, awesome. So this is how you do it. Ready? You take your, you, you got to save money first. So you sacrifice things that you don't need. You get some cash. Now to invest in shares, what you do is you go and open an online share broker account. Okay. I can't explain or tell you which one it is because I don't want to do that. There's many you can choose from. All you have to do is Google online share trading account. Okay. And look at the reviews of the best ones. Pick the one that suits you. Okay. And there are YouTube clips on how to use that online broker. Okay. So here's how it works. You select an online share broker. In the old days, when you bought shares, you caught up an actual human being that was like, hey, it's Johnny, your share broker, right? What shares do you want to buy today? And you would give them the money in their in their account, their share, share account, their broker account, at their office, they have a bank account, put your money in there. They would then actually fill the trade for you. They would actually buy the shares on your behalf and you pay the stockbroker to do that, okay? That's what used to happen in the 80s and 90s and early 2000s. That's how you bought shares. But what happened was technology replaced the stockbroker and now you have online stockbroking. Okay, so an online broker is a simple online platform that allows you to buy shares by yourself and it's very minuscule brokerage cost. It might cost $20. Some are free, okay? I'll do another lesson on which, which is which and which one's better. It's small brokerage. You used to have to pay the stockbroker heaps more, okay? So the cost of sh buying shares has gone down drastically. And so there's no more Johnny the stockbroker, it's just a platform. Any good bank will have a share trading platform and there are many available to you now, but just find one that's high quality, look at the reviews. And then if you jump on YouTube and type in how to use this particular broker platform, there'll be someone who's done a video on how to use that particular broker platform, okay? I'm not doing it on this episode because I want to empower you on how to find answers for yourself too. But that's how you do it. Just watch how they do it, right? So you go and you then research the stock or the index fund that you want to buy based on some intelligent information you've learned in books, okay? And you figure it out and you go, I wanna put my, sh my money into that. And you go on your share broker account, you click buy, and within the market hours of say 10 to four in the daytime from Monday to Friday, you buy an amount of shares that you wanna buy. And you're done. That's it. That's how you invest. 
It's not, it's not rocket science, right? It's really simple. Simple these days. When I started, I had to, to open a shared trading account. I had to give them a, like a blood sample. It was like flipping act. It was hard. Back was 14 years ago. It was hard, but it's really easy now. Okay. Once you've done that, really, it's about repeating that and, and buying good quality assets. So buy good quality shares or index funds that you understand and just scale it, right? Keep repeating the process. Wealth is just a, 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 a process of repeating what works. It's very re repetitious, um, success and wealth. It is very re repetitious. In fact, if it's not repetitious, it's probably not gonna create wealth. Now, how do you invest in real estate? Well, much the same thing. Instead of a stockbroker, it's a real estate agent <laughs> and it's not on a computer, but you can jump on realestate.com. You can jump on uh, Zillow. You can jump on all these platforms that have all these properties you know, for sale. And you can start talking to agents and say, look, this is what I'm looking for. I'm looking for a real estate development, redevelopment, I'm looking for a refurbishment. I'm looking for, um, I'm looking to buy residential. I'm looking to buy an industrial unit. I'm looking to build and develop. I'm looking to, you know, it depends on how you want to invest in real estate. I'm looking for a multi-family or a multi-unit dwelling. So I'm looking for a unit block of say six units. Grant Cardone talks about this, right? You, you take your money and you invest in more than one door. He says that the law of one door doesn't work. So you need more than one door. So you, let's say you say, well, I've got, uh, I've saved up $200,000. What can I buy within reason of not getting too much debt? What can I buy that's going to produce income to me in my real estate portfolio? Is it one dwelling? Is it two units? Is it a duplex block? And all you have to do is jump on, look around, start talking to agents and figure out what's selling in the market and look for an opportunity that's selling for less than what it's really worth. And then you go to contract, you make an offer. Say so you go to the bank, you get finance, say you can afford to borrow this much based on your, your equity you've got, your cash that you can buy. They give you the number, you go to the agent, you make an offer, you buy the real estate, you make sure there's a tenant in there, they pay you income, passive income, and the real estate grows over time. That's investing. It's not, investing's not that hard. It's really not. But here's where it does become hard. This is where people struggle. When they say, how do I invest? Quite often, when, I, when, when they learn that process I just explained to you, and they do it, there's a penny drop moment that happens, and I see it all the time. They go, wow, that was easier than I thought. My money's in there, I've invested, great. When do I get to retire? Well, you've just put $500 in shares, you're not gonna retire on that, right? Or you've just bought a, a property worth, say, 500,000, you owe 400,000 debt on it. All the income's gonna go back to paying that loan off in 15 years. You ain't gonna retire yet. So just cool your jets, okay? You've got to continue to repeat that process until you build your assets, right? So the biggest problem I find with investing and in, people ask, how do I invest? They don't have any money to invest. That's the real issue. They're saving like $1,000 a year or 10,000 a year. It's just like a slow process. So my advice to you would be this. If that's the case, you don't have a lot of money, go and figure out how to make more money. That's the trick. So you got your job, you might be paid 50, 60, 70, 80,000 a year. Look for ways to turn your, they say your nine to five pays the bills and your five to nine builds your dreams. So go and find a five to nine, go and find a weekend thing, get more cash flow and add that to your portfolio, add that to your real estate, right? Investment. You've got to learn how to make money and save money because that's how you build assets over time. Start a business, yes. As long as it's going to be profitable and you know what you're doing, go for it. That's really the, 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 the issue that happens when people learn how to invest. It's what pops up, okay? So how to invest is simple, right? You just go back and rewatch this video and it'll explain to you. But I promise you'll get to that point like, flip an egg, I've done it, that's amazing. Now I just need to repeat it, I gotta go make some money, okay? And that's why I encourage people to look for ways to make, earn extra money, all right? So hope you've enjoyed that episode. If you've loved it, hit the subscribe button so we can build a big YouTube channel uh, and impact more people and change the world when it comes to money and finance, all right? My name's Lloyd Ross and I'll see you on the next video.